In Keeper's architecture, roles and teams are separate concepts. A role defines permissions, policies, and what features and security settings apply to users. Roles also define the administrative capabilities of those users. Teams are specifically used for sharing privileged accounts among users within the vault. Teams and roles can be linked to automatically assign a role policy to all members of a team. Administrators will need at least one role defined for their users, but you can create as many as you would like depending on the structure of your organization. Roles can be created to support a variety of policies depending on what enforcements should be applied to users based on their positions, such as administrators and executives. The root node will provision two default roles to start, the Keeper Administrator role and the All Users role. To add a role, simply click Add Role from within the Roles tab. From the drop-down, select the node you want to add the role to, provide a name and click Add Role. To configure enforcement policies for a role, select the role, then click Enforcement Policies. Next, a series of screens allow you to configure the enforcement policies that will be applied to the selected role. As you can see, the policies are organized into a number of key categories including login settings, platform restrictions, vault features, and creating and sharing. For convenience, you can also duplicate a role from the options menu. This will create a new role with the same enforcement policies. It's also important to note the use of delegated administration using administrative permissions. Administrative permissions grant rights to specific users in order to perform administrative functions within the admin console. A role can be given administrative permissions over the node or subnodes for which a role exists. To assign administrative permissions to a role such as this, Secondary Administrator Role, click Administrative Permissions and Add Managing Nodes. Choose the node it will manage from the drop-down and click OK. Next, use the checkboxes to set the permissions. When Cascade Node Permissions is selected, the permissions will be applied to all subnodes of the parent node. Click Save to Finish.